So this all started back in 2007. I traveled to Denmark and I was just getting into craft beer. I went to a bottle shop with a list of the top 50 beers. They did have number one, and that was a beer brewed in Belgium by monks at a monastery. What happened, it was the sun came out, the, my lips started quivering. This was absolutely what I knew was beer, and I had to know everything about it. So I came back to the States, and I started reading up everything I could about brewing beer. So with $3,400 in my pocket, I left for England, and I had no plane to go. The first place I went was West Kent, and there I was picking hops at this 72-acre farm, and I got to see these 20-foot vines just towering over me. And that was such an experience for me, because I had actually never seen hops before this. Uh, after London, I went over to Japan, and there, I got to work with a brewery called Kiyuchi that was making sake and beer. Now, they had been making sake for about 100 years now, but beer for only about 15. And that was when the Japanese government allowed craft beer to be produced in the country, otherwise you weren't able to do it. So after Japan, I went over to Denmark. And there I got to work with two smaller breweries called Fenu and Sugard. And these breweries were really pushing the limits of what beer can be, what beer is, and adding ingredients that were unknown to me. They were pushing the limits of alcohol, pushing the limits of hops, pushing the limits of barrel aging, all sorts of things that were incredibly interesting to me. Uh, after Denmark, then I traveled to Belgium and France. And this was kind of the last little bit of my travels. I was biking throughout each country, I visited a lot of different breweries, went to beer festivals, and learned a lot about Belgian beers as well as uh, French wines. We get so excited about world beer, and that's what we want to bring back. Part of our story is the actual story behind each and every one. We've got a beer with the yuzu fruit that's from Japan. It was inspired because I had a yuzu tree in my backyard. We've got a beer that is brewed with uh, the last smoked malt to be consistently produced for the last 250 years. And we've got another beer that was uh, aging in cognac barrels that popped in my mind when I was biking in southern France. Every single one of our beers was inspired somehow. We're never just going to make we're gonna make beers that mean something to us, and with that, I hope it means something to everyone else. We are gonna be finally open on November 21st, that's a Friday, four o'clock. We're gonna have all of our beers on tap, and we're gonna have a huge event here. We've got keg beer, cask beer, we've got a band, we've got food trucks. It's gonna be a hell of an event.